Do you want to know the top eight places to live in Delaware County right outside the city of Philadelphia? So I'm going to break down the neighborhoods that we find have the most demand, have the most amenities, and might be the right fit for people thinking about moving to our marketplace because everyone's going to want something different. Before I get into that, if you get some value out of this video, you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment, or if you want to schedule a call with our team to talk about making a move, whether it's from outside the marketplace or you're looking to upgrade inside the marketplace or you just want some more information, click on the link in the comments. So I broke down the top eight places to live in Delaware County and number one may surprise you. So make sure to watch until the end. So number eight, I actually have family from there. My mom grew up in this neighborhood. It's Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. So in Drexel Hill, you're going to get maybe your best bang for your buck in terms of buying a home out of all of these places uh, with the median sale price of $299,950 for a property in Drexel Hill. Now, this neighborhood's a little different. It's got some more historic homes, pre-World War II, meaning you got plaster walls, slate roofs, stone houses, a lot of charm, sidewalks everywhere, and a lot of local amenities. There's also a wide variety of housing in Drexel Hill. You've got single family homes, Twins, row homes, ranches, bigger colonials, all sorts of different kinds of properties. And you also, one thing to be aware of is that they do have higher taxes in Drexel Hill, um, especially the school tax portion of the tax bill. It's located in Upper Darby Township. Now, it's also a little more densely populated. It's easy to get around. They've got tons of local amenities. The Drexel Brook Shopping Center is a great place. You have Drexel Brook Country Club, which is another great local amenity there. Um, you've got a chicken and pizza in Drexel Hill. That's a big Philadelphia attraction for crab fries, bar food, drinks, all that sort of stuff. Drexel Hill is also very close to the city, so it's really easy to get in and out of Philadelphia. You've got Westchester Pike, Route 3, and Township Line Road, Route 1, that are both right there. And it's got a lot of great stuff going on. So it's got maybe your best bang for your buck. That's number eight, Drexel Hill on the list. Number seven is Broomall, Pennsylvania. So Broomall, um, it's got a lot of shopping so and it, it's located in uh, marple newtown school district in marple township the lawrence park shopping center is a great place to go get your groceries it's got some restaurants in there some great delis um, some great places to eat they have a main line health medical center there which is great to have local doctors that are close which is really important um, you've got an amazon food mart in broomall as well which is another great place to go and if you especially don't want to deal with cashiers and 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 deal with people. They'll just charge your Amazon account when you walk out. If you haven't been to one of those places, I would definitely check it out. Broomall is, again, it's very easy to get around in Broomall. You've got a lot of major roadways there. You've got close access to 476 right by Lawrence Park, uh, which is the Blue Route. That's one of the, uh, you know, the, the, the major routes throughout the country. You've got Route 3, 320, a lot of local shopping. And in terms of housing, the median sale price there is $515,000. So again, you're going to get a lot of different kind of housing in Broomall. Northern Broomall, the north side of Route 3 is a little more wooded, uh, a little more space in that part of Broomall. It's very close to Radnor Township and uh, Haverford Township there. And then you've got south of Route 3, which is a little different, not in a bad way, but it, you got Lawrence Park, which is obviously a massive neighborhood. A lot of single family homes in Broomall. That's really the, the type of housing that you get there, whether it's a split, a single, a ranch, two-story colonial. So there, there's a lot of single family opportunities in Broomall, which is pretty great, especially if that's the kind of property that you're looking for. And there's a lot of great restaurants as well. Like the Cut Above Deli is one of my favorite delis to go to. They got a Nifty 50s uh, right in Broomall as well, um, right on the edge of Newtown Square in Broomall. You've got a lot of great spots that you can go grab a bite to eat. Uh, the Sopranos Deli is another one right on Westchester Pike. Number six, Wallingford Swarthmore. Now this neighborhood's a lot different. It's very self-sufficient, and it's really two townships. You're in Nether Providence Township and Swarthmore Borough. So two municipalities, not two townships. Swarthmore Borough, you have uh, Swarthmore College, right? And that, that is very interesting because it really sprawls out throughout Swarthmore Borough. There's a little downtown in Swarthmore Borough as well, and it's almost its own like independent community, which is pretty wild. Now, the taxes are high there because there's not a lot of commercial amenities in Wallingford, Swarthmore. It's mostly properties and mostly single-family homes. Occasionally, you'll see some twins or some smaller properties, especially if you go down to Garden City and some other places. 
Swarthmore and Wallingford are very self-sufficient. Um, it, it, and you're, you're close to a lot of places. You're right next to Springfield if you're in Swarthmore. You're right next to Media if you're in Wallingford. But they're, they're a very tight-knit community. Um, it's a little different. And the school system there has a lot of great programs that you may want to check out. The median sale price there is um, between $387 and $487, depending on if you're in Swarthmore or you're in Wallingford, and there's a section of Swarthmore that's actually in a different school district. It's in Ridley Schools, which can throw the values off anytime you're going from school district to school district. So if you want more of like a town feel with sidewalks that's kind of self-sufficient, not a lot of commercial amenities, but a lot of great big old houses and great neighborhoods, Wallingford Swarthmore might be for you. That's number six. Number five, Springfield in Delaware County. Don't make the mistake I've seen clients make when showing homes where they go to the wrong Springfield. This has happened to me before. It's 45 minutes away. This is in Delaware County. So the, the advantages I see in Springfield Township, in Delaware County, you got the Springfield Country Club. Awesome place if you're a golfer. They've got a great restaurant there. I've been to weddings there. Very, very cool. They've got a ton of shopping. So a lot like Broomall, you've got shopping centers, you've got grocery stores, restaurants. There's a lot of great places and local places to grab a bite to eat, um, especially along Route 1 or along Springfield Road. Um, you have access to the train, which is a big plus. And it's really affordable. You got $473,000 is the median sale price. So Springfield is, again, one, it's a lot like Broomall, where you get a lot of single-family homes there. There are some different types of property. It's a little more accessible. Um, and you, you really get a great bang for your buck in Springfield. And they've got tons of shopping all over the place. Um, I mean, you could go on and on with the list of places that are there. So Springfield would be my number five place to live in Delaware County. Number four, we're getting the number one here. Number one may surprise you, um, Newtown Square. So in Newtown Square, you're going to be a little more spread out. So as opposed to like Springfield or Broomall, you've got more room in Newtown Square. You've got bigger lots. It's a little more rural in Newtown Square. Um, you've got access to the Aronimen Golf Club and the Waynesboro Golf Club and kind of Country Club. Now, Rains Waynesboro is in Newtown Square, not in Newtown Township. Newtown Square is very interesting because it's actually in a couple different counties, there's a small sliver of it in Chester County, but we're talking about the area as a whole. So if you like to golf, you want to be somewhere a little more spread out, Newtown Square may be the right spot for you. you got the Tire Hands Brew Park, which is a pretty cool amenity as well. I know they're uh, having um, putting an ice skating rink out there. They're going to have some vendors out during the holidays and during the summertime. It's a great place to go kind of lounge and relax. Um, that's James Beer nominated beer, which is really interesting. Um, and you got lower taxes compared to other places that are along the main line and some of these other some of these other neighborhoods, depending on what part of Newtown Square that you're in, which can be a real factor because that affects your monthly payment. And you've got easy access to major roadways there. You got 476, Route 3. Um, you have the ability to get on the I-95 pretty easily, like you can from Springfield or um, even uh, Broomall if you're taking 476 down that way. So. Newtown Square's got bigger homes, larger homes. They're typically more your like estate style premium properties, a little bigger, and it borders the main line. So you got really easy access to the main line um, without having to pay the property taxes that you pay on the main line. And the median sale price there, it's a little pricier. It's $877,500. Number three place to live. If you're looking for a nice school district, single family homes, a lot of local amenities, and a real community feel, this might be the one for you. This is Havertown or Haverford Township, really, because it's, again, it's a little different. Um, you've got Haverford and Havertown, and even a small sliver of Ardmore are all located in Haver Haverford Township. Um, you've got a small downtown there. It's got places like Brick and Brew right off Darby Road. You've got, obviously, all these places have Wawa, except like Wallingford Swarthmore. That's a big attraction in Delaware County for anybody. Um, you got plenty of places to go locally. you got Barnaby's, Brick and Brew, a lot of great spots right in Havertown. Uh, Barnaby's is one of those spots that's like iconic for Delaware County. You've got a lot of shopping there, too. You've got a big Lowe's, a big Target. Springfield's another place that has a nice Target that you might want to check out with some of the shopping that they have available there. Um, you got the new YMCA that was built in Havertown a few years ago, and um, it's a little more densely populated. You also can tap into... Marion Golf Club. This is where the U.S. Open has been held a number of times. It's in Haverford Township. It's a historic place to go golfing. Really narrow holes, really narrow fairways. I'm not a big golfer, but this is one of those premier places that people want to go throughout the country. So 
and, and again, you're getting a little more bang for your buck in Havertown than you are in Haverford and Haverford, right? So Haverford, even though it's part of the township, the median sale price there is eight seventy seven, and in Havertown it's four hundred sixty five thousand dollars. So we got the top two, right? You guys ready? So media number two. It's located in Rose Tree Media and Wallingford Swarthmore Schools, one of the better downtowns that I've seen in the local marketplace here for a suburban neighborhood. You've got access to I-95 and 476, so real easy to get in and out. This is home to people like Harry Callis, Wanda Sykes, very you know big local personalities. Um, really easy to commute in and out of the city. You got State Street, which is full of bars, restaurants, cafes. You got a lot of great places there. The Media Townhouse. We have our holiday party there every once in a while. You got borough living, but also larger single-family homes outside the borough. So it's a nice mix. It's a lot like you know Westchester, only a little, little more densely populated. So you got a nice mix of older historic homes, twins, townhomes, or big single-family homes. There's even a number of condos in Media, which is a little unusual for Delaware County. Uh, and you have train access. So you've got a lot of great things there. Um, and it's one of those places where it's got kind of everything to offer. It's not one or the other. Some of these neighborhoods we talked about, it's more suburban living, shopping centers. You don't have that downtown. Some, they do have the downtown. Media's got it all. That's my number two place to live and, and number two uh, neighborhood in Delaware County. So let's get to number one. This might surprise you. Radnor Township the least Delco of anywhere in Delaware County. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Um, it's got the largest land tract of any of the townships in Delaware County. Very interesting. So it's got the most spread out. You got a lot of parks in Radnor Township. Um, a lot of jobs that are in Radnor Township. Lincoln Financial was headquartered there. J.G. Wentworth, TV Guide. Uh, uh, I mean, all these are all big companies. And uh, Amerigas uh, are all located in the Radnor Corporate Center. You've got Villanova University there if you want to go check out some NCAA basketball, um, local s sports, that sort of thing. It's a great college to go to. Happening North Lane Avenue, I mean, that's right by the train. you got train access throughout Radnor Township, right along Route 30. But then North Lane Avenue's got a ton of, like, bars and restaurants and places to go eat. They've got a lot of local shopping right there as well. It's very easy to get to King of Prussia from Radnor Township if you want to tap into the mall and that, that sort of thing. This really has it all. It's got big estate homes. It's also the priciest of all these townships. And you have to be careful just giving it one median sale price because you've got different towns that make up Radnor Township. You've got Bryn Mawr, you've got Wayne, you have parts of Villanova. All these places are in Radnor Township. So it's obviously got a, a, the highest price point out of all of them. You've got historic homes, you've got new construction, you've got townhomes, you've got condos there. Radnor's got it all. That's my number one place to live in Delaware County. So that may surprise you a little bit. Again, if you got questions about any of this, schedule a call with our team. If you're thinking about making a move or you just want to learn more about these neighborhoods and make sure to subscribe and like the channel if you got some value out of this.